What do you think would be something that can en ensure the longevity and maybe the also the effect of what uh, SWATOX is doing? What do you think can get that I mean, to happen? The, the key thing that we, we need help is definitely sponsorship. Um, it's self-funded right now by people in the team. Um, so if we can get some um, sponsorship, I'm sure we can expand it and do it where it's not just in Lagos, but is in um, other places. And then, of course, the most important part, like um, Victor was saying, is ensuring, that, and the question you ask is ensuring the speakers come and they, they speak honestly and not speak the same old bullet points that they mm -hmm. give. And we're seeing that, like, um, Token Marking was, um, was one of our speakers and mm -hmm. when she spoke people left were like wow i didn't know that about talking about because you see this image on instagram and she opened out up everything even before her First book time. came out mm -hmm. so that's what we we need if we get those honest conversations out and we get the the, the finances it can spread like a virus across nigeria but i, I wonder though must she be replicated across that's why technology exists which is your area yes. you know can't it's accessible to us wherever, so we don't have to. Yes, uh, and that's also part of the vision. We've, we've had instances. I mean, because I'm here, Google, I would look for TED Talks, and I, anyone, any area, yes. you know? Yes, and that's first and foremost, that's one of the reasons we have those social media channels I talked about, like YouTube. And we're also, we're also testing out things like going live and being able to do, we've done one or two sessions like that. And hopefully, we want to be able to promote that more and say, oh, we'll be live on social and so. We've tested, and we had one or two people come in, and were part of the event mm -hmm. on, on via, via, via the internet. So. Mm -hmm. so how do you determine who you invite? Um, as we said earlier on, the people who we know, because we're still using the traction of the people we know okay. or recommended because we strategize at the team level mm -hmm. and people make different suggestions mm -hmm. of different mm -hmm. names. Mm -hmm. And then people are able to connect personally with them mm -hmm. and invite them. Mm -hmm. So when we pick a theme, if we're talking about relationships, for example, the good, the bad, and the ugly mm -hmm. was the very first aspect of relationships mm -hmm. we That's spoke what about. <laughs> we then look at people in the community who have had good experiences, bad experiences, ugly experiences, and speak to them and get them to come to willingly and mm -hmm. or publicly share their experiences. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's how we go about selecting the people. So can people suggest come. people to you? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, yes. If you yes. make it public, for example, that we're going to be talking about X, mm -hmm. and somebody knows somebody they think fits, you, will, you would, we uh, would consider, we yes. consider that. As long as our uh, uh, core values and everything are like. Maybe you should remind me about your core values. <laughs> 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 what are the core values? What are you trying to achieve? Um, our core values are, for example, to make a difference. Mm -hmm. So we want to make a change. We want people with positive growth mindsets, not people who will come and be um, highlighting the negative side of things. So we want people who believe in Nigeria, who are passionate about the country. So those are the things, passion, But are they belief. ignoring Nigeria's problems, though? Are we not ignoring all, Nigeria's not problems? Not at all. We are addressing. We are saying despite Nigeria's problems. Okay, so I would just like final words from you. What would you like to say to people who are, who are tuned in right now and possibly come for one of your talks? Okay, for me, I would say it's, it's more, more of a case that we should stop complaining, start talking and taking action because this is the only country we have and it is up to us to make it great again. Mm -hmm. Ma'am? Um, life is full of hope. <laughs> we must change the narrative in Nigeria. We must change our conversation from always complaining and looking at the negatives to how we can build hope right from the, for the young people onto an older uh, age Do group. your students so, get to listen to the Oh, they attend talks? every event. They attend every <laughs> event. Yes. So do you invite schools and things like that? Yes, we invite schools. Yes. Do you give them refreshments? We do. <laughs> we give refreshments. That's what we they give might, small small chops. Chops. <laughs> more chops. More chops is there. And drinks. Okay. And okay. all of this is free. So mm -hmm. people attend free. So people are actually, people are pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm at the takeaway when they attend. So it's really for people to Small come. jobs are more. What yeah. about you? Um, I'll say 2018 will be a big year for SWAT. Um, if you are interested in participating in an organization that is talking and doing, um, we definitely invite you to come for one of our events. And I want to thank you all for coming. Thank I've done my own bit. Thank you <laughs> this is my much. own SWAT contribution. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Recognize. Really appreciate it. But the that. truth is, I like the fact that you're starting local, even though the local actions can have global effects. 
Let's start local. Let's trust what we have, trust our country, and contribute what we can towards making Nigeria great again. Thank you, SWAT team, for coming. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again on Seriously Speaking. <laughs>